I met Will I Am and Apple D App. I want to say 92, 93 at a club called Ballistics. And it was a club where all the dancers, MCs, would battle different crews. I was from a crew called Tribal Brothers. They were from a crew called Tribal Nation. And we would all meet at this, this, uh, this jam, jammy jam, and we would battle. And battling is basically when, when a group of guys dances against another guy. It's like breaking, but it was freestyle dancing. And um, when I saw Will, he was actually on the microphone rapping. And I thought, wow, this guy's, this guy's incredible. He was a 16-year-old beast because just how fast he was rapping, how animated he was, and just his, his mic control and just his delivery was on point. When I saw Apple, he was like this crazy, like, Tasmanian devil when he stepped on the dance floor. He had these long dreadlocks and he would just, you know, he did acrobatic type moves. And I was really impressed by that. And the way they dressed was, was uh, immaculate. You know, they had the old thrift store jackets and the cool um, polyester pants. And that's the vibe that I was on as well. So we kind of mirrored each other. That was in 1993. Black Eyed Peas was started in 1995. Uh, because at the time that I met Will and Apple, they were going to get a record deal with Easy e Fast forward, they got a record deal. 94, they were supposed to come out, but it, they didn't. 95, Easy e passed away. So Will was like, we got to start a whole new movement. Um, we can't use that name Tribal Nation or a tribe beyond a nation. So we got to start something else. So they get, he gets with Apple and says, let's start this group called uh, Black Eyed Peas. So Will calls me and says, yo, Tab, you want to perform with us? I said, of course I want to perform with you. Let's do this. Will tells me the name of the crew is called Black Eyed Peas. So our first show was at a gangster showcase. Gangsters. And it was, uh, it was weird because we were the weird dudes on stage with thrift store jackets. And you see all these gangsters throwing up gang signs and like, what up, cuz? What up? What up? Little weird motherfuckers. And, uh, you know, we just, we just went out there and wrapped our hearts out. We were dancing, and they, they, threw, a, um, they threw a bottle cap at Will's eye, and it, and it hit Will in the eye. And I remember how angry Will got, and he just, he started freestyling about it, and then they started giving it up to us. And they started saying, like, oh, y'all, y'all motherfuckers is a weird but I like y'all 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 special man y'all got some y'all got some heat so from that point on we knew that we could win um, win over any crowd meeting Fergie we met Fergie in 2001 2002 she was part of this group called Wild Orchid and uh, she had been a child star. She was on this uh, show called Kids Incorporated. She was the voice of uh, um, Sally on Charlie Brown. Um, so she had been in the business for a long time. So we had known of her because of our mutual friend Dante Santiago. When she decided to do her individual project after Wild Orchid, she started working with Will I Am. And at that time, we were working on an album called Elephant, which is our third album. And uh, we did a song called Shut Up. It was me and Will on the vocals, and Will was singing the female part. And Dante said, yo, you guys should put a female on there. We're like, Who, what female are we going to use? Dante says, why don't you use Stacy? Back then she was Stacy. Stacy? Is she dope? Yeah, she's dope. You should try her out. So we brought her into the studio. And she went in there and nailed it and killed it. She knew about thirds, she knew, knew harmonies, she just knew how to make the, the vocals sound great. Um, after that point, we started going out with her to clubs and, and started becoming friends, brothers, sisters. And then we started utilizing her more on other songs like Let's Get It Started, Hey Mama. And so it was a natural progression for her to come into the group because she had already sang on so many songs. So. That was the story of Fergie. Yeah, let's get it started. Ha, let's get it started. Yeah, yeah. Lose control.